Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Huseman. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I look like a little bit of a bum today, but we're gonna change that because I just got a huge haul from Free People. Like, this is probably the biggest Free People order I've ever done. I went in store for the first of it and then I got like three shipments worth of stuff coming. So all in all, I probably spent like $1,500 at Free People and this is what I got. So let's upgrade today's outfit, try on some new cute clothes. You can tell me what you think in the comments down below. As always, if you like anything, it'll be linked in the description bar down below. And I really would appreciate if you could give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps me as a small creator. And then don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday. All right, let's try some clothes on. outfit I got from Free People in store. When I went, the dressing rooms were closed, so I didn't have a chance to try anything on, so I got quite a bit more than I knew I would keep because I didn't know what would look good on me. But these shorts are a winner. Oh my gosh, I love these. They're not like completely like underwear shorts. <laughs> like they're not cut so low that I feel uncomfortable wearing these in public. They're not ripped. They have the perfect hem and I think they make my butt look really good if I do say so myself. And this top, I'm not sure if I'm keeping. I got this so I could wear it to work. It's a little bit more casual, but it's not really in my color scheme. It might be a little bit too casual. I think it's really cute, but I'm just not sold on it. So let me know in the comments down below if you think I should keep this. The shorts I'm absolutely keeping, but I'm a little torn on the top. It's just, I don't know. It's not my normal vibe, but I still think it's so cute. And I think it's just like very easy. Like this is a really easy outfit to throw on with some sneakers and just walk out the door. You're not gonna look super polished, but it's like that California cool girl, easy, like not trying too hard vibe. So I don't know. I feel like maybe I could fit this as like a casual Saturday outfit into my wardrobe. This next dress is unreal. This is so free people. This is like exactly what I look for when I go into free people. This is like easy maxi dress. I feel like you can't quite see how far down it goes, but it's all the way down to my ankles and it has this gorgeous open back. And it also has pockets, which is always a plus. And I'll give you like a close up of the fabric. It is this white eyelet material. The only thing I will say on this dress is because it is floor length, which is something I should have known when I picked it out. I don't know how easy this would be to like just wear to work without looking like I'm in a Victorian like nightgown commercial a little bit, just a little bit. But the other downside is that because it has this open back, you can clearly see my bra, even wearing a strapless bra. So I'm not exactly sure what bra I would wear with this or if it's work appropriate. I do think it's so cute. And if you were a bride or had like a mom to be photo shoot, I think this might be really cute. I'm just not sure I have an occasion to wear it for. So unfortunately this one is probably gonna go back for me, but it's so just ugh, my style and the vibe I wanna go for. I almost would consider like hemming it just a tiny bit, but I think you'd lose a lot of character from the dress and it also was really expensive. So I don't really wanna alter it. The other downside is I got a large and you can see that this doesn't quite fit how I would, no, I feel like it's actually pretty fine. I did get a size large and it does look like this part is kind of like dipping. I'm not sure if that's how it's meant to be or if I just got a size too big, but just for the bra issue won't be possible for me. I have a size 36 double D chest and so not wearing a bra is not really an option, <laughs> but I do love this and I think it's a really cute dress. Okay, so this next item, well two items, you can't really see the one underneath is this really cool like rugby shirt. It's definitely oversized. I got the size large and I almost wish I got a size medium just because it's a little too large. Like I would definitely not wear it just as is. I'm definitely getting like college rugby vibes from this, which I think is a really cool look. I even like the front untucked. What I don't like is the back untucked. There's just, it's a lot. So I think if I were gonna wear this, I would tuck it in. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. Ah! Okay, I love this so much. They didn't have my size in the white version of this. So I did get this one in store and I did order the white one in size large online. Probably should have gotten a medium, but I didn't try it on before I ordered it. Oh my goodness, I'm getting such like easy casual vibes. 
I love dressing up, but I do work at a software company where most people are wearing sweatpants, so I like to kind of find a good middle ground. I feel like this is it. It's like casual, but still fashionable. I really love it. I'm excited to see it in the white and beige version because that is much more my color palette, but I think this is just so easy to throw on. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. And the big size of it gives you more options. Like you can tuck it in like this. You could wear it long with leggings. I really like it. I'll definitely be keeping at least one of these, but it's going to come down to like which color I like better. I don't think I have room in my closet for both. And then these jeans, I'll go ahead and insert a clip of me wearing them where you can actually see them, but I'll back up so you can get like kind of more of an idea. I like them. But I'm a tall girl, <laughs> I'm 5'9", and I feel like these jeans were created for someone who is 5'3", or lower, I don't know, that's just a random estimate, but I feel like I'm wearing high waters, and in skinny jeans, I don't feel like this was as much of an issue, because you could wear like a boot or something and kind of cover it up, but with this flare style, it's just really, <laughs> look at that, it's pretty obvious it doesn't reach my full length, it almost looks like I'm trying to wear a capri, but... I don't really know how I would get away with wearing these, so I'm gonna watch these in the playback of this video and decide if I wanna keep them, but again, I'm on the fence about it, so please leave a comment down below letting me know if I should keep them or if there's a solution, because I can't just go and get these hemmed because they're too short and they can't just like add fabric. So yeah, it's a shame because I think they're adorable and I think they look so good from like the thigh up. They just don't look good on me. <laughs> outfit I'm a little disappointed in. I feel like the ones before this I was really excited about. This top is just very form-fitting. It's one of those, it's not one size fit all, but it is like a medium large. Like they just group those two together. So very stretchy. I'm not the most confident in my body right now in how it looks. And for me, I just think it's a little bit too skin tight and revealing. You can see it's just like everything. I do think it's a cute cut. Um, but yeah, you can see like where my bra is. You can see kind of all the wonderful, beautiful folds of my skin, which is, you know, I'm just not super confident in it yet, but if you were, it's really soft. I'll give it that. And I think it's comfy. I do wish in tops like this that I could not wear a bra, but like you would see literally everything. Like I'm talking everything because it is a little bit see-through where it gets tight. These jeans, I think, are pretty similar to the other jeans and that they have the same problem. They just don't go all the way down to where I would want them to end. They're not as bad, I think, because they're not as flared. I do think they go down, like, a tiny bit longer. But overall, this both pieces in this outfit are just a no for me. Okay, this is my, like, ideal cute summer outfit. This is everything I want in an outfit, minus one thing, which is the fit but that's my own fault. So let's start off with the top. It is a very cute, a little bit booby top. It is in the size medium large, the same kind of issue as that last top. But in this top, I think it really works because you can tuck it into something really easily. It's just a nice basic. It is a little bit more on the low cut side, but I feel like when you wanna be a little booby, when you wanna go on a date night, if you're doing like a weekend with friends and like day drinking, I actually really like it, and I'm not one to be booby normally. Okay, so this top, definitely keeping. I do wish it was a size large instead of a medium large, because you can see this, like, undercut. I don't know if it's coming up on camera, but there's, like, a seam right here, and it just barely is in the right place. Like, I, I feel like it's supposed to be a little bit higher up, and because of the size, it's just not. So... That's the only complaint there. Overall, I think it's a really cute top and for $30, definitely keeping it. And then we go to this beautiful like skirt. Like look at this, full effect. Oh, it's so cute. I love the print. I think the cut is super, super cute. I will say it took me a long time to get this on. Maybe it's just me. I feel like it looks a little bit asymmetrical. Like it's a little bit longer on this side than this side, like feeling it now, it definitely is. And then the other downside, and this is my fault, I could have gone with a size up. It's very short on the bum, but that's because this kind of gets like 
rude. Like there's definitely movement here that could go down. But again, I think I got a size too small. And normally I would advise against getting a size too small, but I couldn't find it online in my size and I just got a trainer. So I do expect to lose a little bit of weight and I think this will fit me perfectly. And I'm planning on this being like my reward. If I eat clean for a month, I'll wear this to like Dolores Park and have a day drink. So ah, I just think this is like perfect, easy summer vibes. This skirt is this like silky material. I doubt it's real silk, um, but it's very trendy and popular right now. You're seeing it everywhere. And I think free people did an amazing job picking a pattern that's just as flowy as the material of the skirt. This next piece is a loungewear set. You buy it together and it is these really cute, like knit comfy shorts with this almost like a knit, I guess I call it like a muscle tank. Like it's not super form fitting and they did actually have this in white. And I guess maybe I was having like a weird day because even though white is my go-to color, especially for knits, I just thought the gray looked comfier. Like I felt like I'd be afraid to spill something on the white. And if I'm in loungewear, I want to be as lazy as possible and not have to worry about putting something in cold water as soon as like barbecue sauce hits it. So I do think it's really cute. I don't know. It's definitely not something I would wear outside of the house. I think this is really doable, especially for work from home, because from the chest up, you look pretty like professional. Like I, I feel like I would wear this with a pair of jeans to work, just not the shorts. However, for both items, it was $88, which isn't terrible, but I'm not in love with the shorts. I feel like I want them to be like, I don't know what I want them to be, but not quite this. So I think I might keep it, but again, it's one of those I want to see it on the playback, want to see how it looks on video. So I don't know, maybe I'll go back and try it on in white and it'll be perfect. But something about this is just feeling a little bit blech. So I take back what I said about the wearing this to work. If I move my arm just a little bit, you can very easily see my bra. It's just not something I want to wear to work. So I think for that reason, I'm definitely returning this because if I can't wear this top multi-purpose and I don't love the shorts, it's just not the outfit for me. Do I even need to like, do I need to talk about why I hate this? Like, do I need to talk about why I would never wear this? I mean, the color is cute. The shorts aren't terrible. I actually really like the shorts, but it's a set. This shirt is longer than, <laughs> this shirt is just so big. I got a size large, but like, this is, this is too large. Like, <laughs> maybe if I tuck it in, I literally just cannot get over how much I hate this. There is no shape to it. I am zero for two with the loungewear, but like, wow, this is, <laughs> this is bad on me. <laughs> So I just popped this dress on to show you the final things I got from Free People in store and I'm actually starting to really fall in love with it. I might just have to keep it, I don't know. But I wanted to show you the hats that I got. I love using hats to keep off the sun off my face and Free People has the cutest one. So I did pick up four, which was a little excessive, but I, I don't know how many I'm gonna keep. So I'll put my hair down and show them to you. Ooh, I... Okay, I love the style of this, but this hat does not want to be snug on my head. So I just worry like the smallest gust of wind would blow this off. But I do think it's really cute. And I love how wide brimmed it is. So you're actually keeping the sun off your face. So yeah, I don't know. Next up we have this gorgeous straw hat, which was a little bit more expensive than some of the other ones. I think cause it's like real like woven straw. I think it's cute and maybe not with this dress, but again, I love how much brim you get. So you're actually keeping the sun off your face. And I like, let's see, this band is like almost like a tie dye pattern with this very cute bow on the side. And it actually fits on my head. Like I wouldn't be scared of this like flying away. So yeah, is it too, do I look too much like I'm from the South because I don't know if this is too Southern. <laughs> it's maybe a little bit too rustic and boho for my style, but yeah, I love the wide brim. <gasps> oh my God, this one is an absolute keeper. It's pink, which I love. It has this really cool, like lightweight pattern to it, but it's still gonna keep the sun off your face. 
It fits perfectly on my head. I think this would go with so many things in my closet without looking too like boho or too out of my style. And I really like it. I've actually, I did already wear this hat. I grabbed it <laughs> literally the day I was shopping because I needed a hat in the mall and it went really well with just kind of like a pair of jeans and a t-shirt. So this hat is a keeper. And the last hat I got in store is the furthest thing from my style, but I did want to try something that was a little trendy and a little different from what I would normally wear. And it's this really cute bucket hat. I'm obsessed with the print. I love blue. And while it might not go with everything, I mean, it's definitely going to keep the sun off my face, and it's fun. I feel like I would throw this on with, like, a white t-shirt and a pair of jean shorts and just feel really, like, cool, like, cool girl trendy, but is it me trying too hard? I don't know. <laughs> I almost, I feel like I would wear it with this almost, like, flipped up. I look like I, I feel like I had a hat like this when I was, like, six or seven. <laughs> I really like this. I think it's cute, different from what I would normally wear, and it, encourages me to kind of branch out and try something new and to evolve my style. So I actually, I think I'm gonna be keeping this hat too. So this was everything that I got in store from Free People. I do have about $600 worth of clothes coming in the mail. So I will be showing those to y'all in this video when they come. I thought about doing a part one and a part two, but like that's too complicated. We're just gonna do one video. So the next time you see me, we'll be in a couple days and I'll show you what I got in the mail. package is this gorgeous blue like baby doll dress almost like I feel like I'm in Bridgerton a little bit I don't know if it's the color or the style but I love the back with this detail I will say I got a large and I feel like there's like an, a lot <laughs> of extra room back here which I'm not sure if I need to size down I'll go ahead and insert like a full body clip of this because I feel like you can't <gasps> It has pockets. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> it's definitely a longer dress. I'll kind of back up so you can see. It definitely comes down to my ankles. I feel like the length is just stunning. My only worry is I'm just not exactly sure where I would wear this. I was hoping more for like everyday pieces I could wear to work that were slightly elevated. And I just think with how long this dress is, it definitely is a statement. And I'm not sure I would be comfortable wearing this into my office, which is pretty casual but it is a stunning, stunning dress. I love the color, the material is nice. The back is adjustable as well as the straps, so you can really make it fit for you. I'm just not sure where I would wear this, but I really want to find a place. <laughs> and this color is stunning. I think I would want to play around with a fit more. Um, it's definitely a little loose around my like waist area, but otherwise I think it's a great dress and I'm really excited to find a place to wear it. I am obsessed with the motif of this dress. I love anything that's kind of like sun rays or rising sun, and I think it is cute in concept. However, I'm not sure it executes well on me. I think it does look a little unshapely and you can't quite see the whole rays of sunshine. The back is adorable, but you can see this is just like very much gaping. I don't know if this is a size issue. I got a size large. And I feel like in free people, I'm very easily a size large in most things, but these last two dresses really make me question if maybe I'm a size medium. I could definitely get it taken in. Again, I wanted pieces that I could wear to work, and I guess one thing I didn't consider with this and the open back is that I can't wear like a regular bra with it, and I feel like this would be totally fine for my workplace, like no one would bat an eye with an open back, but I wouldn't feel comfortable with how much like side boob <laughs> there is. Um, so I think this is really cute and I might get it in a medium to see if it fits better because I would love this for like weekends. I think this is a great like day drinking dress, like hanging out with friends or maybe more of like a sultry Thursday date night, but it kind of wasn't exactly what I was hoping for. So I'm hoping the next two pieces work a little bit better. The last two items that came in the mail is this corset top, which I love the shape of. I think it's so flattering. I'm not wearing a bra right now, but I feel like if I was, I'd have a lot of definition. And then it actually is like open on this side. So again, not sure if I could wear it to work, but this was 100% my fault for ordering. I honestly think I could get away with this in my office place. It's like not, it's very subtle. And I feel like these could be tied together more. You could even like sew these together truly, but I just love the cut. I love the color. I think it's still like, I just think it's so cute. Oh my God, there's like people outside my window. Ah! <laughs> watching me and then I am obsessed with these jeans they are like a flare leg cut 
and they're definitely more of a jegging than a jean but my favorite part about these is the waistband i am obsessed with this like crossover style waistband i think it's so so flattering and i think this would be so cute with a crop top i feel like this top doesn't really do these jeans justice i feel like you'd need like a cute crop top so i'm gonna go grab one so you can see how cute this like crossover detail is oh my gosh i feel just like huge like hippie vibes from this which i feel like free people's kind of known for i just threw on this top from the h&m wildflower collection and like everything else i will link everything down below but I just think, oh, I love this like subtle crossover detail. I think it's so trendy right now. And hopefully it's flattering. Like I guess I'll see <laughs> in pictures after the fact, but I just like the little detail. The other thing about these jeans that I really like is that they're actually long enough. Like they all go all the way down to my foot. And I'm a tall girl, I am 5'9". So if you were a little shorter than me, you'd probably have to get these hemmed. I might get these hemmed even just a tiny bit so that they're like the perfect length. I think having a longer jean is more inclusive because you can always shorten the hem, but you can't like lengthen it. So I'm really happy. I actually think I might wear this for like the rest of today. I love the look it gives. I feel like it's so flattering on my booty. And yeah, I, I'm i still getting used to skinny jeans not being a trend, but these are like my perfect replacement. These like almost, I call these like, boot cut flare i'm really i really like this outfit oh my goodness we are finally here the last two shipments from free people have arrived and i am wearing them so this is the same top that i showed earlier in the video this one is a size medium and it is in the white and beige and i'm actually really torn i thought this would be a no-brainer that i would love this one more but i almost I think I like the green and blue one better, which is totally against my color scheme. But I just feel like it had a little bit more character and there was a little bit more interest to the piece. Whereas this one, I mean, it's cute, but I, I don't know, something about the blue and green with this like rugby fit was a vibe. And I feel like you kind of lose some of that vibe with these colors. It's not as much like East Coast preppy as the blue and green was. Maybe I'm just crazy, but... I actually think I'm gonna keep the blue and green one. I might return it because I do like the way that the medium fits me a little bit better. This is with it tucked in and I'll go ahead and untuck it after I show you these pants so you can see how the medium fits compared to the large. But oh my goodness, these are my absolute new favorite pair of jeans. Forget what I said about keeping any of the other pairs. I actually don't think I'm keeping any of them. I'm keeping these. Yes, I know. They're like kind of skinny jeans. They're not like super, super tight. There's still like room, but oh, they're so cute. I love the fit. I love the way they feel. They're like a good, stiff, like thick denim. It's not like a jegging. And I think my booty looks nice in them. So I'm gonna keep these jeans for sure. And I'll go ahead and show you this top undone. It is still super duper long. It still does that thing I dislike in the back where it just goes down way too long, but I could like, hem it like i have a sewing machine i have some sewing ability i'm definitely gonna be getting the blue and green one it's just a matter of which fit i like better so again leave a comment down below telling me which one you would keep if you were me i am gonna be hemming the back but i can't tell if there's much of a size difference in terms of like wideness if that makes any sense i feel like this is a really good fit though and it's I don't know. I'm going to have to replay the footage to see which one I like better. Well, thank you so much for watching this very long journey of a video. It was so fun to shoot, so much fun to get all these pieces, and I'm so excited to share them with y'all. If you pick up anything from the video, be sure to use the links down below as it'll take you directly to the item as well as information about my sizing and colors. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me as a small creator. If you would like to, please subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday and Thursday, and it would really mean a lot to me if you did. I really hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Bye.